You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Well, we had something come up today in a conversation on Undisputed involving Philadelphia Eagles coach Nick Sirianni. Now, I don't know if you guys saw Nick Sirianni's introductory press conference with the Philadelphia Eagles, but it was a bit of a train wreck, okay? Um, It just seemed like he might have been in over his head from a perspective of somebody dealing with the media. Now, I tend to believe that that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a bad head coach. Okay, the players may love you. You may know how to game scheme, game plan with the best of them, and you may be able to execute when you're on the sideline. Okay, I believe that both could be true, right? Um, Now, does it help to be able to deflect? Sure. But not everybody's going to be Bill Parcells, Bill Walsh, Bill Belichick. And look, people will say, well, he's not great with the media. But I think he gives you only what you need to get. Now, in making that determination, at no point do I sit there and think, you know, Nick Sirianni as a head coach, they're 2-5. and five. I believe his shortcomings have to do with him being a white guy. Wait, what? A white guy. Yeah, because certain members of the woke mainstream media would lead you to believe Nick Sirianni is failing. And by the way, he made a really terrible analogy involving some flowers growing and roots. I kind of knew where he was going. But Shannon Sharp decided to take this opportunity, yes, of Undisputed, to cast a shadow on white head coach Nick Sirianni and basically say, hey, why does this guy have a job? It's because he's white. What? Okay. So uh, we're not even full through one full season, okay? And, and this is where we're at. Nick Sirianni can't coach because he's a white guy. Shannon Sharp convicts Eagles of hiring bias after a head coach makes a horrible, horribly bizarre flower analogy. And it was weird. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to act like it wasn't, but uh, I just don't know what a weird, strange analogy has to do with somebody's skin color. If the floundering Philadelphia Eagles are a flower, they're an ugly one. After first-year head coach Nick Sirianni made a bizarre analogy Wednesday afternoon, comparing the roster of 53 men to a flower football Hall of Famer, and Fox Sports host Shannon Sharp roasted the franchise for their hire. Okay, so he made a bizarre analogy about flowers growing. I'm going to read that to you. But Shannon Sharp could not, even for a second, I, I, I don't think he can go a day without equating color of skin to something. Something. If you're white, you're evil. You're the devil, I would, I would suspect would be the word he might use. Quote, this is what I said to the team today. Sirianni told reporters during his Wednesday press conference, quote, the results aren't there yet, but what's going on here is growth under the soil. I have put a picture of a flower up. It's coming through the ground and the roots are growing. The roots are continuing to grow out. The foundation is being built and that the roots are growing out. And the only way the roots grow out every single day, they grow stronger and they grow better is if we all water, we all fertilize, and we all do our part to water and make sure when it does pop out, it really pops out and it grows. Okay, so guys, let's just be real. I don't love the flower analogy because you're dealing with these big, tough football players, right? But at the end of the day, we I think we do get where he's going with this, right? Everybody on the team pulls together in one direction for a goal. And he's laying the foundation for everybody to do that. And he equates it to a plant growing. I don't love the analogy, but I certainly see where he's going with it, okay? And I'm not sure how the flower analogy um, ties ties itself to being a failure as a head coach, which in return, he's failing because he's white? Time will tell if Sirianni's metaphor resonated with the Eagles 
but it definitely didn't resonate with Sharp, who spent 14 years in NFL locker rooms, winning three Super Bowls. Quote, you don't water a plant every day, Sharp said for starters. But I already knew you were going to be going to be some bull jive because when you showed to your introductory press conference with an eagle sweatsuit on, I already knew where this was headed. And this is where it just gets bizarre. It serves them right, Sharp said of Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie and general manager Howie Roseman, the people who hired Sirianni earlier this year. Quote, you get a job because you look like the person that's doing the hiring. The Hall of Famer said to Skip Bayless. Quote, and you talk like the person that's hiring, and you know somebody that knows the person that's hiring. We know good and well, ain't no way a brother is going to be able to show up with a sweatsuit on and get a job. He better be dressed like I am today. Of course, Shannon wears suits everywhere. Although I can't think of many coaches outside of Tom Landry and one time Mike Nolan, when he was coaching the Niners, won a suit on, wore a suit on the sideline. Um, and how do we know what the hell Nick Sirianni wore to his interview? We're talking about a press conference, not an interview here. Not an interview for when he was going for the head coaching job. Prior to taking over as head coach of the Eagles, Sirianni was... The Colts' offensive coordinator under Frank Wright, I like Frank Wright a lot, Wright served as the Eagles' coordinator during their Super Bowl winning season in 2017 and highly recommended Sirianni when they had an opening at head coach earlier this year. With a 2-5 and five record on the season, questionable play calling for their young quarterback Jalen Hurts, and repeatedly giving strange press conferences, Sirianni has yet to win Philadelphia over. Okay. I think that might be a valid... Look, all of that can be valid, and that's fine. But what that has to do with Sirianni and his skin color, that's the problem here, Shannon Sharp. I mean, what does one have to do with the other? He got the job because he was white? I mean, really? Did you see Anthony Lynn last year? Anthony Lynn made some very poor choices for several years, as the coach of the San Diego slash L.A. Chargers. But at no point did I go, you know what? I think Anthony Lynn is making these bad choices. And he said some things in press conferences that weren't great either. Hmm, I think he's making these bad, having these bad press conferences. He's making these bad coaching decisions because Anthony Lynn's, or Anthony Lynn is black. I just don't think that skin color and the job you're doing as a head coach on the sidelines, has to do with anything. Again, we're talking about qualifications for a job. That guy was an offensive coordinator for a team that had done well. Some could even say, and even though the Colts are kind of turning it around right now, some could say maybe they're missing Nick Sirianni's play calling a little bit. I'm just saying. There's been times where their offense hasn't been as sharp as it's been the last couple of years. Maybe Sirianni actually had something to do with that. Maybe that's why he got the job. Again, his introductory press conference wasn't great. It wasn't a great look. His play calling may be suspect. But to insinuate that the guy just got the job because he's white, I think is ludicrous. Especially... When you're talking about a franchise that once gave Michael Vick a job, handed him the keys to the franchise as the quarterback after he just got out of prison for killing a bunch of dogs. You know what Mike Vick is? Besides NFL quarterback, he's a black man. Now, Hammett, does that sound like a racist franchise to you? Just wondering. How big of a second chance do you think somebody should get get exactly? All right? And and I don't want to hear that the Eagles didn't take heat for that. They publicly put their franchise out there to give Michael Vick a second chance at quarterback. He is black. They took a lot of heat from it, including from myself, who rescues animals and think Michael Vick ought to be launched in the fuck face for what he did to those dogs but he still got a job and now you're calling the franchise 
They gave Michael Vick the job. A bunch of damn racists for hiring Nick Sirianni. Shannon Sharp, you are exactly what's wrong with media today. You may be an NFL Hall of Fame tight end, but you're a fucking moron. And you're a dangerous moron saying dumb shit like this. That's utterly ridiculous. That is one of the dumbest commentaries I've ever heard about anything involving sports. The fact that Nick Sirianni used a bad analogy and you think he got his job because he's white from a franchise that gave Michael Vick a second chance after he killed a bunch of dogs. You dumb shit. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Yeah, I got fired up. But, I mean, look, Shannon Sharp is a heavyweight champion of idiots. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.